Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me today in my kitchen as I show you how I make black beans. In other name, they are called turtle beans or uh, the Kenyan name they are called njohes. So the, the black beans are in the family of pinto beans or the kidney beans. If you can get hold of the black beans, you can use either of the two. So they're very, very nutritious. Um, they, they're a good source of iron source of protein, magnesium, uh, vitamin B, and the end, the list is endless. So if you can get hold of them, please try them. Uh, well, actually, in Jahez are eaten mostly in Kenya. Uh, for women after they've given birth, uh, this is a meal is made for them like a stew because it has so much, because uh, of iron, if you lost a lot of blood, you know, you can get iron through that. So please stay tuned as I prepare it. Uh, First of all, what I do is that I soak them overnight. So soaking them overnight helps them to soften and help them to cook a little bit faster. So this this way, you don't have to wait longer in the kitchen while preparing them or while wanting them to cook. You know, uh, I'm not very sure if you can get them in the in containers or in tins or whatever, but I've, I've never tried them. Uh, but if you can get a hold of them, you can try Amazon. I know there you'll be able to get them. So please stay tuned as we make these lovely lovely enjoy his lovely beans and please share comment and like below and let's stay tuned so the beans were soaked overnight and that's how they look like so now what i'm going uh sorry the the black beans so they look under brown at the moment after soaking them so what i'm going to do i'm just going to put them in my pressure cooker don't let anything away and two liters of water and what i'm going to do i'll, I'll boil these uh, for 45 minutes um, I'm using a pressure cooker, but I suppose if you're using a, a normal uh, pan or a pot, it might take a little longer, but just keep an eye. So I'll cook this for 45 minutes and just make sure that it's soft, not too soft. And yeah. So my my black beans have fully cooked uh, they cooked exactly for 40 minutes as I say I'm using some tomatoes uh, fresh tomatoes tomato puree that one I'm using one purple or red onion extra virgin olive oil some salt uh, what do you call it I'm using curry powder coriander powder uh, fresh coriander some fresh carrots and some cloves of garlic chili and that's a, a chicken stock if you want it to be a fully fully vegetarian you can use um, a vegetable stock but I have my homemade uh, chicken stock there that I, I'm going to use as well so those are all the ingredients that I'm using if you want to add potatoes you can use potatoes as well uh, I'm having the black beans with some brown rice so it actually go <coughs> goes very well excuse me with some chapati uh, you can check down on my recipe there you'll see how to make uh, wholemeal chapatis so stay stay tuned as we make and prepare our lovely njohe in black beans
go in add in your coriander and uh, garlic chili mix that in well add in your dry ingredients uh, a teaspoon of curry powder or on the half uh, some coriander powder sorry These ones are just for flavor and a very and a nice smell as well. Add in your tomato paste, tomato puree. I'm gonna squeeze in a good bit. So I will cover this for five minutes. because the tomatoes still feel very firm so I will cover it again at this stage go ahead and add your carrots uh, just mix that in So give that a chance to to cook and to soften a little bit. Let's check. So at this stage, uh, you can add a little bit of some liquid if you're using chicken, beef vegetable or just water add it to the mixture there uh, you want to give the carrots a chance to soften so i'm gonna cover that again let's have a look oh, it smells so good in here so at this stage i'm going to add my black beans my haze. I'll try a cup and see how it is. It just looks so beautiful. I'm going to add a half a cup of it. So I'm going to give this a good stir. And then I will add in my chicken stock my homemade chicken stock will add all of it because um, I want this to be more of a stew when I'm eating my rice I don't want it to be too dry so it looks so so beautiful so I will let this cook come to a simmer a boil 30 minutes and then we'll come back and check it It's been 30 minutes and over. My jahe's black beans have fully cooked. The carrots are soft. You can see the sauce have thickened. So enjoy your black beans with some rice, some chapati, or just plain like that. It's a filling dish by itself. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can subscribe my channel. And yeah, thank you. So that's my brown rice. Uh, I'm just gonna serve. That looks lovely.
enjoy. Thank you.